This is 1961 Jefferson Nickel in MS-66 condition with full steps. According to Stax Bowers, a find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel enthusiast, this gorgeous upper-end gem is essentially brilliant with intense satin white luster. Virtually blemish-free with an impressively sharp strike that sets this coin apart from the vast majority of circulation strike 1961 nickels. Specialists in this modern series know all too well, the Philadelphia Mint paid little attention to quality for the high mintage circulation strike Jefferson issues that it produced during the early to mid-1960s. The result for the 1961, represented here, is that full steps examples are rare even in the lowest mint state grades. This gem was sold for $10,800. Number 6. Here is 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel Error. What makes it valuable is that this 5-cent piece was struck on a planchet intended for steel cents. According to Heritage, this silver-gray premium gem exhibits coruscating luster and is essentially pristine. The steps display remarkable detail. Slightly uncentered, with a full rim at 9 o'clock on each side while the right side legends are partly off the flan. The date exhibits metal flow toward the edge characteristic of a wrong planchet error, Aside from a handful of wrong planchet errors, steel cents were only struck in 1943. The error combination of a steel cent planchet on nickel dies is limited by that year's coinage, and since the error hobby did not exist at that time, no such pieces were set aside except simply by chance. It was sold for $14,950. Number 5. This is 1951 S. Jefferson nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. This is a coin for the advanced Jefferson Nickel Collector competing for top ranking on the PCGS set registry. Soft satin luster flows serenely over surfaces that are silky smooth in texture and essentially pristine. Peripherally toned in warm golden iridescence, the centers are pearl gray in appearance, and the originality is undeniable. Full, razor-sharp striking detail from the rims to the centers rounds out an impressive list of physical attributes for this breathtakingly beautiful coin. The San Francisco Mint produced 7,776,000 nickels in 1951, one of the lower totals from that decade. Even so, mint state survivors can be had with relative ease in today's market, even in grades up to and including MS-66. On the other hand, full steps coins are in the minority among extant examples, and precious few of these grade finer than MS-65. It was sold for $18,600. Number 4. Here is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition. Lou's examination with a loop confirms the nearly perfect status of this coin as indicated by the grade. But the desirability of this piece is not limited to mere preservation of the surfaces. The untampered originality of the surfaces are demonstrated by the streaks of rose, ice blue, and green iridescent toning seen over each side. Only 18,720 proofs were struck in 1941 but surprisingly few were set aside by contemporary collectors. Number 3. Moving on with this ultra-valuable error nickel. 2000p Jefferson nickel struck by two obverse dies. This intriguing Jefferson nickel has two obverses, rotated approximately 225 degrees from coin turn. Both sides are weakly struck due to improperly spaced dies, but exhibit a readable date and mint mark and a partial outline of the bust of Jefferson. Although unstruck areas retain the dimpled texture of the planchet surface, post-strike contact is confined to the rim near and G on one side, and the rim near Bird on the other side. The surfaces are brilliant, luminous, and satiny. It was sold for $20,520. Number 2. This is 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Special Mint Set. So-called SMS Nickel. Graded as SP68 full steps by PCGS according to PCGS, there are many different theories on why the 1964 SMS coins were produced. These coins could have been produced as prototypes for the 1965 to 1967 SMS coins. The 1964 SMS coins could have also been produced as introductory pieces, possibly even intended to include a 1964 D piece dollar. Furthermore, it is believed these SMS coins came into existence somehow through the involvement of Eva Adams, U.S. Mint Director at the time. The 1964 SMS coins are extremely scarce, but regardless, more are still believed to be out there that have not been attributed yet. This elusive specimen was sold for $26,437.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 
and this is 1938 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 plus condition with full steps. This first year Denver issue is highly sought after in high grade, but full steps examples are scarce finer than MS-66 and rare in MS-68. This is the sole plus graded MS-68 full steps coin at PCGS, making it the single finest certified at that service. Pristine, lustrous surfaces yield dusky amber gold toning with iridescent wisps throughout. It ended up selling for $33,600. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.